If you have an ADT command panel that is showing you battery dead or missing on the panel, usually after a power outage, you might see it. It's very, very simple to replace the battery in this. And the only tool you need to do this is a little Phillips head screwdriver like that. Little tiny guy. Come on, I'll show you the, uh, the screw underneath that we're gonna take out. All right, so if you look under the panel, there's a little screw right here that we're gonna uh, unscrew. Very easy. Hey, let's do it together. All right, super easy, nothing to be scared about. save the screw and this just slides right off and you'll hear this thing beep a little bit um because it it detects when you remove it from the um the faceplate it's no big deal you want to make sure that you pull a little bit of the power line out the power cable out of here so you're not stretching it and you'll notice there's a plastic piece here that can hook onto the faceplate to prevent strain um, on the, uh, the the power cable there. So once you get the faceplate or the panel removed from the faceplate, um, I actually took already took the screw up, but there's a, another screw right here that you can use the same exact uh, screwdriver for to get it out. So you're gonna remove the screw and this takes a little bit of pressure and you just pull this off, All right, This is the piece that holds the battery in place. All right, and then you're gonna wanna disconnect the battery from the uh, circuit board there. Okay, easy. And this com literally comes right out, all right? And when you get the battery out, um, it's important to note the model number uh, or the part number rather, it's right here, part number 300-10186. Uh, this is the battery pack that happens to be in mine. I don't know if, if newer uh, models or older models have different batteries. Just make sure that um, the part number that you order matches the one that you took out of your uh, panel, okay? Uh, for this specific uh, battery, the 300-10186, I'm gonna provide a link in the comments below uh, as well as on the blog post itself. This piece fits nicely back in here like so okay i'm gonna take your screw the larger of the two screws in case if you forget I'm even gonna provide a link to this exact screwdriver in the comments so you have everything you need. All right, uh, make sure you unhook the little piece of plastic here, not a big deal. And this whole piece, make sure you can see this here. This whole piece just slides back in. All done. So this still says obviously battery dead missing or whatever because I put the same battery back in, but I just wanted to show you guys um, how it's done. So that's it. That's how simple it is. Save yourself like, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Um, or grab the battery yourself, grab a screwdriver and get this changed out and, and you'll be back in business. That's how it's done. See, we did it. We did it together. All right. Just like I said, super easy, super simple. Save yourself the money. Just do it yourself. Check the links below for the screwdriver and the battery. Comment below if you have any questions. Talk to you later.